Uh, hey guys, what is up? I'm Ian, your friendly neighborhood Junkernaut, and today I'm going to be showing you a build I did for Calamity Inc., uh, where I make some really cool mutated zombie weapons for our nerf humans versus zombies events. Now, one of the things that we've been thinking about as a business and as a group of friends is how do you make playing a zombie uh, more dynamic and fun? We don't want it to be overly uh, punishing or boring whenever you get tagged and you're just waiting for the next round to start. So the way that we've really come up to do that is to come and give the zombies some special abilities and weapons and things that actually make playing them more fun. Um, now, if you look in pop culture, we have tons of different examples of zombies, but the ones that I actually think are the coolest are the mutation zombies. Now, we've got an example up here from Halo 4 where the zombies are actually mutating where their arms are becoming almost like a sword, and that's just really cool. Um, and then we have some stuff that's even more dynamic, like the uh, Las Plagas from Resident Evil 4. But how could you possibly get somebody into a costume like this? We don't want to have to wait and have people um, thinking about all this stuff um, after they die in a game. Um, so rather than going for something that's going to be more like a makeup or a costume, uh, we're going to angle it much more towards something that is um, like a traditional armor or weapon, like a sword or a spear or a whip, but actually still looks vaguely zombie-esque. Here's my initial mock-up sketch of the design. Uh, basically, we're going to have some PVC pipe and fittings where we have a portion that we can hold on to with our hand. We've got a hinge portion in the middle that will go around our elbow. And then we've got um, some more elbows that kind of bring it up around to the top. And the way that this will kind of bend and actuate with your arm is uh, kind of like you're having just an extension um, of your arm with a claw portion in the front. Um, in the end, we're going to cover it all with pool noodle and other kind of foam to make it a little bit more safe and add some more definition to it. You're going to need two half-inch PVC uh, T-couplers, and you're going to need two of the 90-degree uh, elbow couplers, and you're going to need something to cut the PVC with, which is this, and you're going to need a uh, scissors or something to cut your pool noodle with, you're going to need a measuring tape to measure the PVC and measure your uh, arm distances, etc., and uh, some PVC. Now, as soon as I started putting this on there, I realized that there was no way that this foam was going to bend enough to really allow your arm room, and so it became necessary, or just really obvious, that we would want to put an, uh, the T's up like this, and rather have it, the handbar that you hold on to go straight across, actually going up to a little elbow here. Um, so that's going to be a relatively easy fix, it just means that we have to use two more elbows than we were planning to for the build. decent for a first attempt. You could fill all this in with more foam or uh, just you know duct tape across it so this is a solid surface back here. You've got this whole shoulder pallet uh, pauldron right here. I think that's what it's called. Um, so you could kind of edge at the enemy sideways and you've actually, I mean with this you're actually covering a pretty bit, uh, major amount of your profile from being shot. 
or you could just do the front. So your legs are going to be open if you do it like this, but you do have your chest all protected. So then you get in close and you can either, you know, slice at them. So you can do like a cross slice or you can do like a punch. And this, this really is, you know, because the, uh, the PVC in here ends a good, you know, 12 inches before the spikes, you know, you could actually, you know, hit somebody with it and not actually hurt them too bad. And even if you hit them on the PVC uh, portion, you've got a good thick pool noodle. So this is the first prototype and we'll see where it goes from here. And I'll be back whenever I'm done uh, painting and finishing all this to make it look a little bit more pretty. kind of what the finished product was given the time constraints the money constraints and the fact that they had to be both safe and fairly durable uh, I'm pretty proud of what it came up with and most of all I think that they're gonna be fun to use the straps like that and then you've got a very large mutated stabbing arm this very large mutated section to kind of help block with bullets if you go sideways this one has a single strap goes into the crook of the elbow so then you got this one which has a pretty long reach actually. <laughs> you got both of these things and you can just grab at people and stab at them. You can actually block you know, a fair amount of uh, darts that are coming at you so you can block with one and you can actually stab with the other. So all the ones except for the first one that I made, which is the big one, uh, the paint got a little bit muddier than I would have preferred and that just happened because I didn't put the base coats of paint on before I did the foam and so um, they just meant that they had extra layers of paint on them and you lost some of that kind of definition of color. Then we got this one uh, which is more in an actual like sword orientation instead of being like a lance like something you're stabbing with you're put on a lot of kind of organic tentacle weird looking things on there. So again this one just has a single arm strap that kind of helps stabilize it onto your arm and you have basically what would be the handle of the sword and then you've got this big big long thing that you can swipe at people uh, very original idea which was to get a hold of some of those uh, hole cans and so it actually you know, doesn't look that much like a fist you could actually model it a lot better uh, I just did what, what was going to be the easiest and fastest way to do it so it does actually look like kind of a big fist You've got enough of a thing that you could actually block a little bit, but you can also definitely punch people. Thank you so much for checking out this kind of silly build video of me making these zombie mutation weapons for the next Calamity Inc. event that's happening on February 17th. 
Um, it should be a lot of fun, and that's really what the end goal for making these was. This is actually one of my favorite kind of projects to make. It's starting with a project that I don't really have any idea where it's going to go. There's no rules, there's no boundaries. You just pick a track and you follow it. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but that's life. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button down below or uh, click that subscribe button right there. I really, really appreciate it and it helps me out. Until next time, guys, I'm the Joker Knot. Take it easy.